Carl here from Games, Brains and Headbanging Life, GBHBL.com for sure. And it's album review time. It's the Australian metalcore band Void of Vision are back and telling an incredible story across 10 tracks on the new album What I'll Leave Behind. It's out September 20th, 2024 via UNFD. Now, the story behind this album and the experiences that vocalist Jack Bergen has gone through in recent years is astonishing. I do urge you to have a read up about this to understand exactly what's gone on. And while it can all be lumped under the banner of health issues, what has happened hasn't just transformed Jack's life, it has transformed Void of Vision too. Forced to adapt while facing an un uncertain future, this new album is the band at their most raw and vulnerable. Yet, and really importantly, it is not hopeless, nor is it about defeat. It is about facing the future, coming to terms with its uncertainty, and finding a way to carry on in the darkest of times. This is Void of Vision standing tall and defiant in the face of adversity, and encouraging the listener, us, you, me, to follow suit and stand beside them. If you're a long-term fan, it's something really easy to do. If you're a new fan, the album really has the encouragement needed to do so. Something that is made all the easier when they are delivering infectious efforts that slam with the intense force of Oblivion, Blood for Blood, and Supernova. It's not just the fact that Void of Vision are bringing so much heaviness to the forefront. It is the fact that it is layered with creative use of effects and sounds and it still has a ton of anthemic value. Long-term fans will be very comfortable with what they're hearing here, but will still find themselves having to adapt to a meaner and meatier sound overall. It is the kind of development that turns heads, and having been underrated for so long, it is exciting to hear something that promises to push them into the limelight even more, especially when they continue to deliver genre-defying efforts like Neurotic, Gamma Knife, Beautiful Things, and Empty. There is no creative limit for this band, and they showcase a medley of ideas that prove unequivocally that they are far ahead of other bands who follow a similar path. Perhaps the most surprising thing about this album is the level of accessibility it has. Void of Vision have always had a certain amount of accessibility, but it's also fair to say that they've had aspects that would leave a casual listener confused and cold. That's not the case here, and alongside a truly staggering level of storytelling, this new album features more tracks to have the potential to draw in new fans than ever before. There are a bunch of singles here, but it still fills album structure that manages to keep the focus on that, keeping the listeners engaged right up to the end with a brash blast of electronica focused heavy energy called Midnight Sweat. I love that track. Before offering up the album's darkest danceable anthem with decades and the powerful and persuasive Angel of Darkness. This album, it might have been born from circumstances that Void of Vision would have preferred to not happen, obviously. But, incredibly, this hasn't stopped them using the trials to their advantage. This is my favourite Void of Vision album to date. It is the one that has resonated the most with me, the one I've been enamoured with in such a way. It's the one I've found from beginning to end that I've enjoyed the most. Every track's a banger. Uh, there's nothing that disappoints. There's nothing that I would consider ho-hum or just blasé or meh overall. It is a strong album from beginning to end. So for me, the most enjoyable Void of Vision album to date. It is on the heavier side of their sound. I do think that's really important important but it's still experimental as well this is them kind of settling i think and, and finding a way to carry on based off like i said before the incredible series of events that could have let's be honest destroyed this band completely uh it's what i leave behind i do think you need to check this one out at least just to uh 
understand and hear and read the Jack Bergen story. But obviously if you're a big fan of this band, you're checking it out anyway, you've probably already heard the singles and are madly in love with it already. But until then, it is out September 20th, 2024 by UNFD. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It is gratefully appreciated. You can find us over at gbhbl.com, our full website, where reviews, news, and so much more goes up daily. We're also on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, threads, at GBHBL. Just search for GBHBL and you will find us out there. We also have merchandise on sale. You can access the shop via the website.